Today, we're going to replace the rear brakes on this 2015 Honda Civic Si. All right, I already have the wheel off using 19 millimeter socket to remove the lug nuts. Then using a 12 millimeter socket, we'll loosen up the caliper bolts and the top one as well. And we're going to remove these from here. And I have my electric ratchet that helps me out. Which is job that I do a lot faster. All right, removing the brake from here is a bit tough because it does have the e-brake attached to it. So using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to try to pry this back out, just like so. And through the top, let's take your time. And it's okay if we go right behind this hardware. There it is. And I had it pried up all the way through, just like that, and pried out. And there we have it. Now we have access to our pads. We'll remove these from here. And these are pretty shot. We'll remove the brake hardware from here. And here. And there is one more right here. We'll be replacing these with all brand new hardware. All right, for this one, you will need a special tool to compress in that piston. I'm going to be using... This one here, I think. Yes, I think I'm going to be using these right here. You'll need a 3 8 extension and a 3 8 ratchet to get that back into place. Oof, already has a bite mark right there. All right, and this will go in just like so. And just as you're threading in a screw, take your time. That's what has a bite mark on the other end. They were going the opposite way. All right, that is compressed all the way in. Next, what we're going to do is grease up these caliper bolts and peel this back. It's like so. Clean off this grease. Apply some more grease. We're going to remove this boot. Clean off the surface in there. We're going to use some brake cleaner. Spray this down, wipe it off. Then I'm going to spray some in here. And then using this clean one, we'll go through it and wipe it pretty good. We'll clean this out right here. Go back and forth, get all that grease nice and loosened up. Sweet, we'll wipe this off. We'll apply some more grease, put in the little caliper boot back into place, little caliper pin boot. Apply some more grease. We'll shove that into place. And then we'll do the same thing to this bottom one. Just like so. Sweet. This would be nice and bouncy just like that. So it could slide properly. Now the same thing to the bottom one here. All right, now we'll spray this with some brake cleaner. We'll apply some grease there for the new hardware to create insulation and does not make any brake squeaky noises. We'll install the new brake hardware, then we'll apply more grease on top of the new brake hardware. All right, and they provide extra hardware, so you can make sure you choose the correct one. This one here is too small. You have to match the old one with the new ones, and you see how this has like a U shape, just like so. The other ones were just straight. Same thing with these here. Those match those, did not match those. Sweet. So we will keep these here and this will install these new ones to place this one as well these will go right in here and same thing with the top one and then this one will go right in here how many both hands all right just like so you need to insert one side first then the other side goes into place. Now we'll apply some more brake grease right here, right here, here. Like right there. Now we're ready to apply in our new pads here. All right, for the passenger side, it will be like this. It will go in just like so. So this will be on the bottom side. 
and it should simply slip into place like that. And like so. Hardest part would be getting this to go onto that. But before we do that, know the deal. Apply some lube where metal is going to make contact with the pads. Sweet. Now we're ready to install this. Uh, take your time. This is a bit difficult to get that in there. We had to take it off with a flathead screwdriver. All right. So you need to use some force to get that in there because this bracket right here is hitting that bolt. Once you slip that in, push in these little caliper pins, push that in. And there we have it. I swear that little piece is what makes it difficult. That is honestly the hardest part of this whole brake job. Uh, now we put these caliper bolts back into place and secure them down. All right, and just secure this down. Sweet. And that is it. Now we just do the other side. And then once you are complete, you put on the wheels back into place, start up the vehicle, compress the brake three, four times, and then we are set. Sweet. And that is how we do the rear back brakes on this 2015 non-gen Honda Civic Si. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. All right, and we'll start up the vehicle. Compress in the brake a few times. Sweet, so it really feels hard. Take it for a little quick spin. Sweet, and that does it. Everything is working copacetic. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.